warts and verrucas. What a pain they can be. You've probably all had them and they can be really difficult to get rid of. So I wanted to make this video to share with you what tips I as a GP give to my patients to get rid of those stubborn warts and verrucas forever. First, let's find out what are warts and verrucas. So warts are kind of lumpy bumps on the skin. Um, they're actually caused by a virus, caused by the HPV virus you might have heard of. The HPV virus has over 150 strains. So this is one of them that can cause warts and verrucas. And a verruca is actually just a wart that happens to be on the bottom of your foot. So who gets them? Most people, that's the truth of it. Any one time in the UK, one in 10 adults have got a wart or a verruca and one in three kids. So you're not alone. You might be thinking, oh God, I'm gross. I've got all these warts and verrucas, don't worry. Plenty, almost everyone does. So that's how common they are. However, I would like to say that if you do find you've got like really excessive amount of verrucas or warts, or they're kind of just growing, growing, then do get checked out because uh, sometimes we like to make sure there's not a problem with the immune system because if people have got a lowered immune system, sometimes a warp virus can go crazy and they end up having loads. So if that's you, it might be worth just getting double checked. There's not anything else underlying causing this. So are they contagious? Yes, they are contagious. But the good news is actually, uh, you have to have pretty close uh, contact with someone to be able to spread the virus, but it does spread more easily in wet conditions. So how do you prevent it spreading amongst yourself? So um, don't pick at it, don't scratch at it. For example, if you have a wart on your finger, which is quite common, and then you bite nail, then you can actually spread the wart virus to your face, which you wouldn't want, would you? How to stop the spread to other people? Um, don't share towels. And if you are swimming, put a waterproof plaster over the wart or the verruca. All right, and what about the treatment? That's what you really want to know about, isn't it? Well, it is worth bearing in mind that around half of the warts and viruses will be gone within a year anyway if you did absolutely nothing, and two thirds will be gone within two years if you do absolutely nothing. So if it's not really bothering you too much, and certainly if it's not painful, consider leaving it alone. If you do want to get rid of it, for example, verrucas can be really painful on the bottom of your feet, or you just might think it looks really ugly, then you might want to try some treatment. And I'm going to give you the top tips here, and listen up, because I think a lot of this you might not have even heard before. And I would split the treatment into three categories. One, things you can do at home. Two, things you can get from the pharmacy, possibly your doctors. And three, things you can get privately. Okay, so number one, what can you do at home to get rid of your warts and verrucas? First of all, and this is the, probably the top tip I'm giving you straight away, there is some evidence, it's a bit mixed, that duct tape can help. Sounds a bit bonkers, doesn't it? I've definitely uh, known patients who've used this and it's worked. So just get some regular duct tape, you know, from the hardware shop. And uh, what you want to do is soak uh, the, the water of the verruca for about five to 10 minutes, get a pumice stone or an emery board and file down the top of it and then cover it with duct tape and replace the duct tape every six days. If it falls off, just replace it before then. But on that sixth day, do that same thing again. Soak it, pumice it, leave it overnight and the next day, replace it with some more duct tape. And you may need to do that for a few weeks, but the, the wart virus often does die. And when you peel off the duct tape, often the wart comes with it and, and dies. So I think this is a really great one to try, um, especially on children because there's no pain related to it. There's no side effects. So I think that is number one top tip, try some duct tape. Another thing there's not much evidence for, but I've known work, so this is more your anecdotal evidence, is putting some nail varnish on the wart or verruca, especially just as you, if you just notice it coming and it's still small, a little bit of nail varnish every day. Sometimes in a few days that might be enough. I think that is supposed to suffocate the virus, so it goes. Another thing you can do at home that you may never have heard of, but there is some pretty good evidence for, is zinc supplements. So just over the counter, zinc supplements can apparently really help with your body fighting off the HPV virus that's causing the warts and verrucas and can get rid of those stubborn ones that are being tricky to go. Next category is what can you get over the counter or possibly from your GP surgery. So you can get salicylic acid. This is probably one you've already been to the pharmacy, you might have already tried and you're thinking, yes, Dr. Sir, Sophie, I've tried that, it didn't work. Um, it doesn't work that well. You've got to use it every day for about three months and it can damage the skin around the, the wart or the verruca. Um, but some people find success, so if you want to try that, it's an easy one to get hold of and not too expensive. Um, or you can also try a freezing treatment like cryotherapy. We used to do this in the GP practices, but we don't tend to do it at all anymore. So you may need to just buy it over the counter. You can buy at home ones to do. Um, so this kills the wart virus by freezing it, but it can be quite painful. Again, can kind of damage some of the skin around it and doesn't always work that well. But if you want to give it a whirl, give it a try. And then the third category is things you have to kind of buy privately or a podiatrist might help with um, to get rid of the warts and verrucas. So first of all, they might try verruca needling, where they put kind of a, a needle deep into the, into the verruca 
Uh, this stimulates the immune system to help clear it. It can be painful, you do need to have some local anesthetic on first, so not ideal for kids especially. And there is a new treatment that sounds really exciting, unfortunately not yet available on the NHS here in the UK, um, so you have to pay for it at the moment. And it's called SWIFT therapy, and this is a microwave ther therapy, and it's very localized, so it's essentially like really hot heat on the virus to destroy it and also get the immune system to get rid of it. So apparently if you have this treatment, for example, on a verrucra on your foot, it actually might help get rid of the war on your finger. And the, um, they've got really good results on how effective this is. So it's definitely a good one to try if you've tried everything else and nothing's worked, then swift therapy might be the one for you. So that's all my top tips for warts and verrucas. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you've tried that worked well and share with anyone else you think might also find it useful. All right, thanks for watching, take care.